strongly disagree with this uh, decision of the of the Supreme Court. I have the utmost respect for our judiciary. I don't think this was the right decision. I think that uh, the prerogative of prorogation has been used for, for centuries uh, without, this kind of, uh, without this kind of challenge. It's perfectly usual to have a, a Queen's speech. That's what we want to do. But more importantly, let's be in no doubt, uh, there are a lot of people who want to frustrate Brexit. There are a lot of people who basically want to stop this country coming out of the EU. Uh, as the law stands, uh, we leave on October the 31st. And I'm very uh, hopeful that we will get a deal. And I think what the people of the, of the country want is to see uh, parliamentarians coming together, uh, working on uh, in the national interest to get this thing done. And that's what we're going to do. In the light of that explicit judgment, I have instructed the House authorities to prepare, not for the recall, the prorogation was unlawful and is void, to prepare for the resumption of the business of the House of Commons. Specifically, I've instructed the House authorities to undertake such steps as are necessary to ensure that the House of Commons sits tomorrow and that it does so at 11.30 a.m. You know, they need to get back in there and start debating Brexit. It's the big issue of the day. You know, it's a, we're in a national crisis right now, and you know we leave the European Union in less in, in just over a month. So we need to get back in there and start talking about it. Because if we don't, then we're going to have some big problems. So great ruling today, and um, hopefully we're going to be able to you know get back in there and get talking about Brexit. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to be diplomatic. I'm, I'm just trying to be realistic. It's not winning or losing. What happens here today? We're all going to lose from it. You know, and Johnson and the Tory party have destroyed themselves. There will be no Tory party after this. Theresa May well, just made us look a bunch of fools, and we're not a bunch of fools. But the fact that we don't riot on the streets yet doesn't mean that we're uh, afraid to. We love you, Boris! We do! Oh, Boris, we love you!